As of us, we like to welcome you here again. And today we uh, on behalf of the office of Senator Nathan Shalom Aguil, we like to say welcome. And the Senator will be speaking on issue of national concern. Uh, this is just a press briefing and uh, some interaction with the media. So we like to say welcome. And honor Senator. Yeah. Thank you very much, uh, distinguished member for vesting. You know, what a few days uh, there be a lot of disturbing news in our country, especially with the situation that occurred in both Cape Town and Buffalo County at the concession site of the NMG Gold and Bar Chico in Buffalo. Unfortunately, the situation in Kenya was very tragic. Uh, first of all, let me extend my sympathy to the bereaved family, those who lost their lives, and to the company that lost a lot of property. But what I'm concerned about is the news that is stimulating from Kenya on the violence that led to the death of Liberian citizens. Because of the conflicting information, the number of people that died, and from both the the government and the citizens, we are calling on the government to set an independent inquiry to investigate as to the state of who is responsible, what led to the death of the Liberian citizens. Uh, police say one person. There are, there are rumors that more than four or five persons died. We don't know how true it is. But one for in the, we want an independent inquiry into this matter. Uh, and that those responsible so they can be held to account. Uh, some people say the police uh, were attacked. Uh, the citizens, I watched a live video from King George. And, Somebody says in a legend that uh, uh, the force the police do was not proportional to the demonstration. And some of the police deliberately shot and killed uh, I guess I don't know how true the statement is, but we want to go to the death of this matter. So we are calling on the government to set an independent inquiry that includes the religion community, the suicide organization, the president, uh, the bar association of Liberia. Uh, uh, so that we can we can we can actually get to the true story. Because uh, this situation should not be a lie in the country. And those who, those who are responsible, if it's the police. Uh, then people need to be held to account, and some people may could be prosecuted based on the, the, the findings of that independent inquiry. Okay, uh, Senator, my name is Sipu, and uh, we listened to the Minister of Information and Health, Inspector General, they sounded very defensive in a sense that they, they tried to make the public the police did not do anything wrong. And uh, the whole process sent the members to ask as to ask them some of the issues and know some of the root causes and all of that. There have been lots of allegations about bad legal practice and the way, you know, the company is treating the citizens and some of the things they're doing. Is the the House of Senate and that of the House of Representatives, you people have the oversight responsibility. What is it you people want to do in that direction so as to make the company to play a part? And also this issue about how many persons were killed so that the police can understand that in all cases to respond to the respond to Well, you see, you, you, I think this should be addressed in two contexts. One, the issue that is existing between the people and the company. Mm -hmm. Two, the violence that took place. People got killed. The independent commission will be able to establish what led to the kill? Like when people die, mm -hmm. so we want to investigate who killed them and what led to the killing. That needs to be investigated. Then the issue of the company in terms of dealing with it, because these are big, these are big ongoing issues. 
over the past several years in terms of benefits and all that. So they can also make recommendations. But you know, you can't, you can't ask the actors to investigate themselves. And people always say that, but we need an independent commission that will go in there and establish who they want. What, how many Ladrian people die? This is, this is serious. So we're not very careful. There could be serious things could be happening across the country in different concession areas. And uh, you will see maybe demonstrations, people killing people. And, uh, the police cannot investigate itself. And so we want this independent commission. The government, if the government is serious, uh, the government wants to be trusted, if the government wants to put a leader, uh, it will be a good thing for the independent commission to be set up, like I said, that will include the press union like Europe, uh, the religious community, that will include civil society organizations, include the bar association like Europe. So they can be, they will be the independent empire to come and say, this is what happened, who is responsible, how many people die. Because right now, if you talk to the people, they say three, four people, well, I spoke to some people from Kimma, they, they different, different information. When you speak to people from government, I will say one person died. Who killed? What, what happened? I don't want to be the judge, but I'm recommending that if we are very serious, let's have an independent commission to do a full inquiry as to the extent of what happened in Kimma so that it can happen again. Because my understanding, police stations were burned, trucks, properties were damaged, things happened, people were killed, and so we should not just keep it sitting on the carpet. In this 21st century, Liberia, now we need to find out what happened. So my recommendation is. Let there be out. I mean, the Senate did what they could do. The caucus came my caucus, our friends, and I will have go out to our colleagues, senators. Uh, Kim Martinez were killed. Those are their citizens. I know they, they would not love to see her, Kim Martinez die, but they are like real citizens. So, as besides being sort of Maggie, being sort of Adria, you, 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 you know, that I have a strong affiliation with the Western region, both countries, all our families are there. And, and so we are very concerned about these things, and this thing needs to be addressed. So we, we should not just say, oh, this thing happened, we should respond to a police get one report, uh, and that's it. I think that Brent will need to, 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 to they, they need to know what really happened, the full extent of what happened, like Brent people they deserve to know what happened. And the only the independent commission will be the answer to that. Yeah, so, Senator, my name is Jackson. Uh, on yesterday, the Minister Minister Delilah was clear that part of the reasons for which these people were protesting on yesterday is not the result of their government because they just came a month into power from the previous government because of the sum of the deal they signed. How can you reconcile? It's very sad. It's very sad. I didn't know I've been involved before. And all you say, government is continuing to. We might look like at that we're working on we are right now. The problem is this is since Ellen Johnson administration. And PI was Minister of Information and then Press Secretary to the President. So the problem is this is a long time. Some of the problem is this that we've been solving the problem. The problem has been solved. So problem all over here, but that, that is not that is not a reason for Labrador to be killed. So let's talk about the killing, those who got killed. How they got killed, who killed them, and why were they killed? So there will be power. The problem is that belongs to Joseph Baca. The king is still solving problems. Let me find an excuse. So for him to say, that our government, that we will respond, but who the government is there? When something happens today, we will be responsible to say that job. So that's a poor excuse. <laughs> I mean, it's a sin. Deception. You can't you say, we'll do something, and you don't do it. So Jeremy, let me be know what he's doing. He's saying, he's saying, he behaved it as though he was not there before. He was in power for 12 years. So why didn't he saw all the brown were there? So that answer he gave is a very lazy argument. Let him set an independent commission now. Let him investigate why I bring God killed his people. Because it don't matter the problem, the city go happen, the city go happen in Babu, the city go happen in Bomba, the city go happen in Nimba, the city go happen in Lark. So we need to know what happened. So we need an independent commission. To investigate. Or in that, we will believe the citizens that more people got killed, that the government is responsible. So we need to know. Yes, my name is
protests or failure of the companies to live up to the MDA. Do you support Paul for a holistic review of MDAs and finding a solution where these companies can be compelled to live up to the MDA? Because the basis for this protest and this violent action is because these companies don't live up to the MDA. There's two things here. Uh, um, you, to review that process normally go on from time to time. The issue of people living out, living out to their commitment, that's another issue. Those are two different issues. So I think I think any company can be a drug. Once you have an agreement with the people that are bringing your labor to it. And two, the same thing you have to also accept that when the company lays out to their commitment, they too don't have a responsibility to accept. And so you're not in the middle of the game, you start doing the both ways. So it's both ways. So we can't say do build me a school. When the company builds a school, you go burn the school down, and then you're angry, you go burn the school down. But you ask the company to build a school, that's not right, that's wrong. And, and so both sides will need a check. But I think the independent commission of recommendation will be something that we'll all look at. I don't want to run ahead of myself and start coming to a conclusion. So I'm suggesting that this independent commission will go in and will look at all these things and it will come up and make a recommendation on how we proceed. So I don't want to be the one making judgment now when I'm calling for an independent inquiry into this process. Senator, I'm seeing myself now right for the matter this before. You go the legislator and you go to your facility. You go to the school, you go to the top of it. Why don't you think the, the diversity no, this is an executive function. Listen, this is an executive function. We don't want to ask Sarah investigation. The Senate could conduct her own investigation or conducting his own investigation. The, the, the executive conducting his own investigation. Then we're just going to have a confused situation. Let the government set a want independent commission, a board of inquiry that goes into that place, investigate what happened. Establish who killed, what led to the to the demonstration, why people were killed, who killed people, how many people died. A report is made. Look, there are two issues here. The issue of concern is a different issue. The issue of the demonstration, how the demonstration was handled, that led to the death of Liberian citizens. Some people say one. When you talk to the police, the police shot and killed the liberal Liberian. When you talk to the police, police say that's not the issue. That's not the case. Some of our people are winning war inside the pen. We need to understand all these things. If more than one person died, we need to know. Even one person dead is a serial death in demonstration. Do we have a regime? There were a lot of demonstrations that were not killing people. The last and small uh, thing happened with the student, it was a serial issue. Even the international community spoke against it. And I would expect the international community to also take this matter seriously. So when, when the July 26th situation happened, uh, with the university students, the international community school condemned it. The, the, the student up there condemned it. So I, I would expect them to say something about this also. So it might just be swept by you. The measurement got to be the same. When people go and people at a plantation, something happening, a tent of violence, where they're killing people, that's something of concern. Is it? You think we, not, we should not be concerned about that? Shouldn't we, should the library be concerned about that? The country needs to be peaceful. You know, the country needs to be peaceful. So we can be doing things that that will lead the country into zero kill. You know, Labro gone through too much. We can continue to experience the kind of violence situation that leads to people being killed and all of that. Yeah, the budget scatter. Yeah, the budget scatter. Yeah. Based on the intensity of the problem, do you think we should set a time frame for the investigation? Yeah, the inquiry can be for three weeks. I don't, I, think, I don't think it's a very difficult thing to know. The witnesses, our witnesses are there. They can find out how many people die right now. Some of the people that die, know their parents are around, they can report. In three weeks now, we can get an independent inquiry. Then we can, we got to take action. The government has to take a strong action. So, like, when people, if people are protesting, does it require that people are shooting and killing them? Or, 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 or if somebody said people go burn poor property, is that something that, if somebody ordered a report of what went property, that person said should be alive or 
by seeing that there is no right for people to be shooting at the people at the same time and killing them. So by that point, the most really the boys actually are killing the people. They also hold that the boys don't really kill them. All these things need to be investigated. And I, and I think we need independent people to go and do the investigation. That's what, that's what I'm suggesting. And I hope the government will take it serious. Senator if McGill. If the government fails to launch, uh, sorry, for me, Mr. Wilson, if the government fails to launch uh, such an investigation that you're calling for, is there anything that the Liberal Senate will do? Well, at this stage, I, I don't want to be, uh, I don't want to preempt the government. Uh, I want to get it better, better down. I, I believe the government is the government of the people. The, I show the government has the interest of the people. So I show the government will do the right thing. I don't think the government will talk to sort of independent inquiry. I don't, I don't, I don't think the government will, 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 will don't want to investigate. And given the fact that you, even you in the press, some of you get different things as well. How many people die uh, at that demonstration? So I believe the government will do the right thing. So at this stage, it will be premature for me to assume that the government will not want to do it. Let's see what happens. Senator McGill, if care is not taken, immediate care is not taken to put the situation on a control and resolve issues at the company there, what do you foresee in the coming days? Well, you know, it is my hope that care will be taken. That the right thing will be done to prevent these demonstrations. The one thing I can guarantee is that problem will always be there. Problem in life will always be. But the way you manage the problem will prevent all these chaotic things. So I hope the government will do what it's supposed to do. Because we are part of the government. We are supposed to do what the government will listen. This is not an opposition thing. It is purely like renting people. Most of the time people misconstrue uh, even good advice for opposition figures to be by advice. You know, we're going back to the old days of being defensive. You know, some of the guys now who are information people, they're going back to attacking opposition people because they're on record, insulting opposition leaders, thinking that they're defending the government. But that's not a way to do information. So I just hope the right will be done. I'm interested in the a main treatment of our former president at the Bible International Academy. He said, You from the opposition Congress of Empire team. Although maybe you have spoken only before, but I want to know on your own point. How is it like? It's a CDC. Let's stick to the discussion. Yeah, let's stick to the discussion. Yeah, because I already had better. Alright, brother, this is going to be a lot of And so, we'll have to end the episode. We are now.